Welcome to Universal Healing. My name is Christiana and this is Ella Fitz. Well, Fitz Fitz. Uh, <laughs> she decided to join us. And um, I wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you face to face today about the Gemini full moon. Because I think this is a really special full moon. This is culminating what we've learned this entire year, because this is the last full moon of the year. And not only is that a factor, but we have it happening, you know, this is from the 11th into the 12th. But if you're on the East Coast of North America, or in Eastern Standard Time, this happens at 1212 on 1212. Now I know some of you out there are like, well, I'm, you know, on the West Coast, or I'm in Europe, or wherever you might be. It still is going to affect you. Just like an eclipse happening someplace in the world that we can't see, it still affects us, all right? Time and space are relative. So this is still a, a factor for you guys. Now, when I realized that, the first thing that came to mind to me, you know, being a Gemini, I start to ponder things. What does this mean? First thing that came to me was the hanging man. And, you know, he gets strung up from a tree or wherever he might be in whatever deck you're looking at. <laughs> and he is stuck there in this tree until he has become enlightened, until he's gained this new perspective. When I started looking at my notes that I'd taken, because I'm not an astrologer, I do listen to a few different people and kind of take notes and see what resonates, what sticks out to me. And as I looked through those notes, I was like, wow, the hanging man really is an apt description for what's happening with this full moon. And I, for, for 2019, really, for those of us who are on this journey, who are seeking, I'm sure you can resonate with this. It's been a really trying year and um, we've been kind of feeling stuck, I think, as a collective. We've been feeling pretty stuck and um, really searching for that new perspective, the correct perspective that's going to get us out of the tree. Um, so I think this full moon is going to help with that. I mean, Gemini is represented by swords, right? You need a sword to cut yourself out of that tree. <laughs> so I want to go over some of the aspects that I think are um, relevant. We have Neptune squaring the sun and the moon. And Neptune is the planet of dreams the imagination and with it squaring the moon and Gemini the mind the intellect communication and Sagittarius the Sun and Sagittarius um, we have <laughs> come here. we have um, which uh, the Sun and Sagittarius is about philosophy um, spirituality expansiveness, exploration. So those, all those things combined is very much about connecting to source. Finding that connection within ourselves, right? It's using the heart over the mind. I know, you Gemini's Libras, Aquarians out there are like, what? <laughs> but yes, yes. Uh, source, you know, the cave of our heart. 
that is where we truly find answers. Yes, I'm not saying don't use your logic. I still use mine, but I make sure that it works with this as well. They are in conjunction. And, you know, this is also a great way to find how to make our dreams come true. Get in contact with what our life purpose is. What that truth is. We also have Mercury quincunxing Uranus. Once again, Mercury is about the intellect, communication, and Uranus is about change. And with Mercury, which is a quick sign, this is going to be quick change, quick ideas, right? All of a sudden, we're going to have that aha moment. We're going to have downloads. And, uh, you know, so if you get any ideas at this point in time, make sure that you take note of them because they are going to be divine ideas, okay? <laughs> we also have Jupiter trining Uranus. And this is going, you know, Jupiter is also about spirituality, expansiveness. So, once again, we're going to, you know, I can see a lot of awakenings happening at this point in time. And if that doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. It doesn't have to. Um, but this is also going to be a time of just happy, beneficial surprises. All right? So, it's going to be a really beautiful time. I'm really excited. We're going to have some manifestations happening. We're going to have some, you know, we're finally going to be able to cut out some of those things we've been trying to cut out. Um, I'm really excited. So what we're going to look at today is that we're going to look at what area of your life needs a fresh perspective. All right. And some of y'all might know, some of you might not. We'll see what spirit has to say. Hello, Scorpio. So, we are looking at what area of your life is getting is in need of a new, a fresh perspective. And this full moon is going to help facilitate that happening. This is for Scorpio spirit, please. For the full moon in Gemini. What area of life is this full moon going to help facilitate a fresh perspective? This is for Scorpio, please. The collective of Scorpio. A deep Scorps. So let's see here. Interesting. Rabbit with the praying mantis underneath. Hmm. So the rabbit, I typically, you know, this can be kind of um, a watchful energy. And in conjunction with the praying mantis, I'm kind of feeling it that way. Because the praying mantis is very slow and under the radar it, it wants to be camouflaged and stay hidden when the rabbit goes though it's making leaps right so let's see let's see maybe you've been just a little too watchful Scorpio Right? <laughs> Have you been spying, Scorpio? <laughs> this is for Scorpio, please. For Scorpio regarding full moon in Gemini, December 2019. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. The collective of Scorpio. The full moon energies occurring in December 2019. 
All right, Spirit. So where has Scorpio been in regards to this rabbit energy? Where have they been? Wow. Cards were doing something weird there. <laughs> Golly. Okay. And this four of coins really, really wanted to come out. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm going to take it out over here. Wow. Okay, so we've got the world, the Ten of Cups, the Magician here, with the Two of Cups. What? Seven of Cups. Then we have the Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, and Strength. Interesting. Very interesting. These were like crossing. The Seven of Cups. So I feel like <laughs> rabbits, you know. I'm feeling, you know, rabbits can be kind of sexual and um, they live in a field. I'm getting a, a playing the field kind of energy here. And that, you know, that's, that's where you've been, right? You've been like looking at all these options here. They've been crossing you though, right? I mean, like it looks to me like what you really want is to manifest True love. The lovers underneath the world with the Ten Cups fell here. These two fell together. All three of these. Which I'm kind of feeling like this is another option here. This is a Leo. This is, you know, an air sign. Gemini, uh, Libra, Aquarius, and then there is uh, an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And you've been looking at all these. Options. You've definitely been watching. You've definitely been watching. <laughs> but you're ready to, to like, you know, find your happy ending. You're okay, but you haven't been making a choice, right? You haven't been. All right, let's see. All right, spirit. So, where do they need to go in regards to this rabbit energy? Where do they need to go? Interesting. Ten of Cups is on the bottom. Let me see if anything else has popped out here. Hierophant in reverse. And the Eight of Swords crossing. Mmm. Scorpio, have you been cheating? Have you been doing all this while you're still married? Yeah. Yeah. Because like this is, you know, in the world card here, he's he's dreaming, right? He's asleep. He's dreaming of this, you know, this happiness. 
here he's manifesting it's not in reality yet right it's something he's or she it's a very um I, I'm, I'm having a hard time pulling out words today. Uh, I don't know what that's about. At any rate, the magician is, this isn't in reality. She, she he is manifesting it, thinking about it, dreaming about it. And they're saying that is that you need to quit, quit watching and make the leap. Get out of this relationship that you're in. You've got yourself trapped in it. You're not going to be able to get your Ten of Pentacles. No. Until... You take the blindfold off and walk away. And yeah, somebody's gonna get hurt. It's, it's not gonna be a pretty victory, but it needs to happen. Or I mean, is this really where you wanna stay? Just thinking about it? dreaming about it hoping it's going to, I mean the magician it, it doesn't manifest just through thought there has to be if to it only goes so far there has to be some real action all right You're just praying. You're over here just praying that it's all going to work itself out. <laughs> no, it's not the way it works. You have to make a choice. All right. Maybe that is, maybe this is, um, you know, having the strength to cut those things out of your life that you need to cut out. Maybe these aren't all choices. There just are a lot of people here. <laughs> I guess there's a lot of people get affected by, by these choices, right? This doesn't have to be it can be whatever resonates, right, guys? I mean, like, these stories are for are for a lot of people. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And, of course, situations can be reversed. We all have masculine and feminine energy. There you go. All right. So let's see if Spirit has anything else that they would like to add to this. Um... Is there anything else you want to say? Just anything else you want to say? Anything else that Scorpio needs to know? Whoop. All right. There you are in the bottom of the depth, Scorp. Whoop. There's that hanged man. The tower's knocking you out. <laughs> That's the first time it's come out. It was. In the, it came up um, near the bottom of the deck for, um, I think, Libra, just for you guys. It's working its way out. It's working its way out. So, yeah. 
Something's got to end. There's the lovers. Yep, all right. End whatever has to end. Yeah, and it's... Yeah, with this Nine of Wands here, it's not going to be easy, right? And the Knight of Pentacles is an offer. It's a slow, slow moving offer, but it does bring it. There's this tower moment. Maybe this is how, you know, you've been going slow. You've felt exhausted. It's felt so slow. And... This tower moment comes in, gives you that new perspective, and you're finally able to make a decision. And the lover's card is here. It's gorgeous, guys. Love it. <laughs> all right let's get some parting guidance from spirit and then i want to get um a thinking a, a piece of art out of the art book so after we see what guidance spirit has from, for you from the angels and ancestors we'll see what the art book has This is for Scorpio, please. Guarding guidance for the energies that are coming in with the full moon and carrying us into 2020. Scorpio, please. All right. Guys, do you have for Scorpio? So shift your perception is on the bottom there and release the old and rest. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, that's what this is all about, right? Fabulous. I don't even feel like I need to say anything else about that. That's... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're looking for a piece of art, the message for Scorpio, please, regarding the full moon energies. Okay, the right side. The card players. I really like it. All right, so, you know, as I was saying, there are a lot of players here, and I feel like there are even more involved with this card players than, are even depicted here, right? And everybody's got, you know, everybody's playing their hand. There's something to be won here, right? I mean, that's why this Four of Pentacles was here. The Ten of Pentacles was on the bottom. This Five of Swords here. There's, there's something at stake. And that's why you're holding your cards close to your chest. This Four of Pentacles. I feel like spirits telling you here, you know, somebody, somebody has to lose. 
Yeah. Maybe it's time to kind of give up a little bit. Um, I'm not telling you what to do, all right? Yeah, maybe this Knight of Pentacles is an offer. Yeah? Maybe... There's a new offer, you know. There's a shift in perception that needs to happen, right? <clears throat> so maybe, you know, you need to look at what you've been holding on to, why, and see if there's maybe a new deal that you can offer that will maybe help this tower moment to happen and get you out of the tree. And into your lover's arms. Yes. <laughs> All right, that's what I'm seeing there. All right, I hope this was helpful, Scorpio. Please let me know. Like, subscribe, comment, share. It really helps a lot. I'd really um, love to continue to do this on the scale that I have. Um, but I really need your support in doing so. So if you could, that would be much appreciated. If not, I still love you. I'm still sending light and love your way. All good. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, until we connect again, all right? Happy holidays.